I don't know too many negotiation coaches that would actually show you how they write a real counter offer. I'm essentially losing money left and right by letting you do my job and automating the work that I do and giving it out to the people for free. But this is me writing a real counter offer for you to all to see how it works. So I'm just, this is beyond showing you a look behind the curtain. This is like, uh, we're building, we're breaking the stage and I'm showing you how to rebuild it or something. So this is how you write a counter offer. Thank you for your time and energy. I am, I am excited about this opportunity because I usually write this as a blank and then engineers fill it in. Oh, this is going to be bad with all my typos. Oh no. Okay. Because blank, but in this case, we'll say because of the impact and growth. Okay. So we always start off with a nice compliment, just like this. And then we always have a nice sentence framing the negotiation in a positive light. There are a million ways to do this. The way that I usually do this is let's work together to find a comp package that works for both sides. So it's very important here. I'm not saying let's start negotiating. Do you know how stupid that would sound? <laughs> you know how heavy handed that is? Instead of saying it like that, you make it sound like a cool project that you want to work with them on. Hey, let's work together to find a comp package that works for both sides. They're like, of course, I'd love to do that. Sounds great, right? Okay. Then to be transparent, I am at the early stages of my job search. I just got another offer from another tech company. And would it be impossible to meaningfully increase the, um, let's say, total comp? Um, that would make me more interested in um, eCorp. Okay, so sometimes I dress this up. Sometimes these are a little bit longer. Um, you'll notice the, the no oriented question here. People, bad salesmen have been driving you to yes for 30 years. Um, they'll say, hey, do you want to go on world-class vacations? Do you want to have better sex? Do you want to drive a Ferrari? When you hear people say questions where you know they want you to say yes, you feel like you're on the hook for something. So in that same way, can you do this? Would it be possible to do this? Those questions end in you hopefully saying yes as the, as the answer. So when we ask questions that are designed for them to say no, it's actually easy for them to say what we want them to say. Um, so sometimes these are a little bit longer, but this is actually not too bad for a good skeleton. I'm taking a little bit of a risk here because I'm not naming any numbers at all. Normally people might say, would it be in, easy to increase the total comp to blank? That's the less risky move here, but I decided to go for, for broke here. So I, I just didn't name a number, okay?